Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Middletown South is brought to you by Monmouth Medical Center in Long Branch. On the same day when football legends Nick Saban and Pete Carroll stepped away from iconic coaching careers, it seemed fitting that Steve Antonucci made his exit as well. Middletown South became a blue blood football program in New Jersey thanks to 26 years of Antonucci leading the way. Middletown South football is something unlike anything else. Like the tradition, it goes back for years. Standing on that hill, it's a feeling like no other. I get the chills every time running down that hill. Hearing house bells, it's something that you won't get anywhere else. The Eagles were a dynasty in the early 2000s with four undefeated seasons and a 43 game win streak that ran from 2003 through 2006. No Sean Moreno, who went on to a six year NFL career, is forever regarded as one of the state's all time greats. I can't lie, uh, in high school, Steve Antonucci, man, uh, he gets me too fired up. His, his pregame speeches are, are, are phenomenal, you know what I mean? Uh, always got us ready um, to go out there and, and, and compete and, and, and go to work. His 2015 team was his fifth undefeated season as Middletown South scored a dominant 35-7 win over Phillipsburg at MetLife Stadium, part of six total sectional titles. Hard-nosed defense and a stout offensive line combined with disciplined fundamental football players was the formula for 220 career wins. JSZ was there when he reached the 200-win mark in 2021 against Jackson Memorial. Uh, I, I'm at a loss for words, I'm going to be honest with you. I, you know, when I took this job, you know, 24 years ago, I never expected to be in this situation. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a credit to a lot of great people. You know, my family, number one, uh, the administration here, and obviously, you know, coaches and players. And we were just so blessed with just the opportunities that we've had here. And, uh, you know, just being a part of this program, it is, it's, uh, it's second to none. The final win in his Middletown South tenure came on Thanksgiving where he led the Eagles to 22 wins over the last 24 years against Crosstown rival Middletown North. While his Hall of Fame caliber coaching resume will be talked about for generations, his legacy in the sport goes even deeper than Friday nights in the fall. Antonucci was the leader and catalyst of starting girls flag football in the short conference. He'll be on the sidelines this spring with the Middletown South girls. Having one of the state's most respected football coaches leading the girls movement is a big reason that flag football is on the verge of becoming a varsity sport. Where do you think you see this going ultimately? Uh, hopefully to a sanctioned sport and hopefully to state championships uh, like they do in other states. I mean, that was the goal when we started this thing from day one. Steve Antonucci preferred to be in the background during the biggest moments of his program success. He's molded NFL players, including Philadelphia Eagles Pro Bowl long snapper Rick Lovato, and the list of college football products is a mile long. But more important than all the last second wins and titles is 26 years of molding young men of character that carry well beyond the swamp. That's just the Mid-South tradition. We never give up. Uh, our year's motto is fight till you fight, you can't fight no more. We're always looking for a fight. and. Uh, when someone smacks us in the mouth, we'll get right back up and fight back. Oh, this is great. This is how you want it to end. Right? There's no better way. Not much to say, but we're going to celebrate. It's going to be a good night. Middletown is one of New Jersey's great football towns, thanks to Steve Antonucci. And everyone would agree that's worth celebrating. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Rich Crampanis.